Welcome to the 2019 Turning 65 Medicare Educational Seminar. This seminar will help you understand the basics of Medicare. Medicare has not reviewed or approved of this presentation. Medicare does not review educational seminars. Thank you and enjoy the seminar. Medicare is one of your two basic entitlement programs, Social Security being the other. Medicare provides you with basic health coverage. Social Security provides a level of income coverage. This seminar will help you understand the Medicare Entitlement Program and your Medicare benefits. In this seminar, we will review the basics of Original Medicare, your health plan options, which include Original Medicare, Medicare Advantage and Medicare Supplement Plans, Understanding Part D and the Prescription Drug Program, Medicare Enrollment Periods, Medicare has evolved since it went into effect in 1965, some 30 years after Social Security became law. In 1997, Medicare Part C, Medicare Advantage Plans, was enacted as part of the Balanced Budget Act of 1997. In 2006, Medicare Part D prescription drugs was part of the Medicare Modernization Act of 2005. In 2018, Congress passed the Chronic Care Act of 2018 which addresses the care of chronic care diseases. Original Medicare gives letters to its types of health coverage. Part A is your hospital coverage, such as inpatient services and skilled nursing facilities. Part B is your medical coverage, such as doctor, lab, outpatient services, and durable medical equipment supplies. Part C is the Medicare Advantage health plans available to you from private insurance companies. These Medicare health plans cover the Medicare benefits under Part A and Part B. Many of the Medicare Advantage plans also include Part D prescription drug coverage. Part D is the prescription drug benefits available also through private insurance companies, but regulated by Medicare. Medicare does not deliver Part D benefits. We will cover in detail Part A, Part B, Part C, and Part D, so you have a thorough understanding of these components of Medicare. When you subscribe to Medicare by enrolling in Part A and Part B, you must pay a Part B premium. Your Part B premium is based on your adjusted gross income from your previous two-year return. For 2019, your Part B premium is based on your 2017 adjusted gross income. In 2019, for someone new to Medicare, the standard Part B premium is $135.50, or higher depending on your income. For those already on Medicare, the basic Part B premium, unadjusted for adjusted gross income, is $109 each month. Your Part B premium is also based on how you file your tax return, single, married filing a joint return, or married filing separate returns increases or decreases in your adjusted gross income results in an increase or reduction in your Part B premium for the current year. The graphic is a fun way to illustrate that Original Medicare has exclusions and limitations that can cost you a sizable amount of money. There is no medical coverage outside of the U.S. There is no coverage for routine vision, dental, hearing, and podiatry. No coverage for acupuncture, hearing aids, or dentures. No custodial care or nursing home care. Medicare has deductibles, coinsurance, and a Part B premium. Because Medicare does not cover all of your health needs, there are financial risks associated with Medicare. If you elect to only have original Medicare as your health insurance, you should purchase a Part D standalone prescription drug plan. The standalone prescription drug plan will have a cost associated with the plan. When you are eligible to enroll in Part D, there can be a penalty if you do not elect to purchase a Part D. This Part D penalty will be discussed later in this seminar. From private insurance companies, you purchase Medicare Supplement Insurance Policies, also referred to as Medigap Policies. These policies cover Medicare's deductibles and co-payments. You pay a monthly premium for the Medicare Supplement Policy. The more coverage you elect, the higher the monthly premium. 
you must have both Part A and B to purchase a Medicare Supplement Policy and continue to pay your Part B premium. Medicare Supplement Policies do not cover Part D prescription drugs. Therefore, you must purchase from a private insurance company your Part D drug plan. You do not have to buy your Part D prescription drug plan from the same private company you are buying your Medicare Supplement plan. You pay a monthly premium for your Part D plan. If you do not purchase a standalone Part D plan to go with your Medicare Supplement plan when you elect to buy a Part D plan, you will be charged 1% of the standard premium late fee for each month you went without coverage. Available through private insurance companies, Medicare Supplement Insurance covers the financial gaps in Medicare's deductibles, coinsurance, and copayments. The Medicare Supplement Insurance Benefit Chart details each lettered Medicare Supplement Plan and its coverage of Medicare's deductibles, coinsurance, and copayments. None of the plans cover Part D prescription drugs. If you want drug coverage with a Medicare Supplement Plan, you must also purchase a standalone prescription drug plan. Plan F covers 100% of all Medicare deductibles, coinsurance, and copayments. At a lower monthly premium, Plan F with a high deductible is also available from some insurance companies. Plans M and N with coinsurance and copayments are priced competitively with other plans. For Plans K and L, there is a yearly maximum out-of-pocket maximum. Value-added benefits such as wellness benefits are not included on the chart as each insurance company has the latitude to provide these benefits on a plan basis. Before purchasing a Medicare supplement plan, check with the insurance company as to the value-added benefits available to you. The Balanced Budget Act of 1997 Medicare beneficiaries are given more options on the private market through Medicare Part C, Medicare Advantage. Known initially as Medicare HMOs or Medicare Plus Choice, the new private plans ultimately offered more add-on benefits, such as prescription drug coverage for new enrollees. To enroll in a Medicare Advantage health plan, you must be enrolled in Part A and Part B, and reside in the Medicare Advantage health plan service area. Benefit coverage in a Medicare Advantage health plan must be actuarially equivalent or better than coverage under Medicare Parts A and B. Many Medicare Advantage plans have low or no monthly premium. Medicare Advantage health plans may include health and wellness benefits not covered by Medicare Parts A and B, such as dental, vision, gym, transportation, and acupuncture. Medicare Advantage health plans may include a Part D prescription drug plan. When you join Medicare, besides straight Medicare, you have the option to select a Medicare supplement plan or a Medicare Advantage plan. Outlined are some of the critical considerations in choosing the type of plan that's best for you. Number one, a Medicare supplement plan has limited guaranteed issue options and availability may be based on your health history. A Medicare Advantage plan with prescription drug coverage or MAPD is guaranteed issue except for end-stage renal disease. Number two, with a supplement plan, you have direct access to specialists, while with an MAPD plan, you must select a primary care physician, get a referral for a specialist, and you must stay within the designated provider network. Number three, supplement plans have a monthly premium based on your age, plan selection, and your county of residence. Your monthly premium increases over time. MAPD plans have no or low monthly premiums, which vary by county. Number four, supplement plans have copays based on plan selection, while MAPD plans have no or low copays, but the MAPD plans could have coinsurance for services such as radiation therapy. Number five, for prescription drug coverage, with supplemental plans, you must purchase a standalone prescription drug plan. With MAPD plans, prescription drug coverage is included in the plan. Copays for drugs vary depending on the MAPD plan. Coverage in the gap or donut hole also varies by MAPD plan. Number six, Generally, supplemental plans have no or limited value-added benefits. You must purchase a dental and vision plan for coverage. 
For no or low premiums, MAPD plans do include value-added benefits such as wellness, fitness, dental, and vision. With Medicare Advantage plans, you must pick a primary care physician, or PCP, and stay within that PCP's medical group's network of physicians, specialists, and contracted hospitals. Each year, Medicare rates the Medicare health plans for their health and prescription drug coverage services that summarize into a single star rating. The star rating of the plan's performance makes it easy for you to compare plans. A plan star rating is reviewed each year and results are available each fall. A health plan can get ratings between one and five stars, ranging from poor, one star, to excellent, five stars. At any time during the year, you can switch one time to a plan that has an overall five star rating. Part D prescription drugs is a crucial component of your health plan, whether you add it to original Medicare only, to a Medicare supplement plan, or Part D is included in your Medicare Advantage plan. In the following section, you will learn Part D premiums, Part D enrollment periods, and the Part D penalty for not enrolling. Your Part D income-based premium is based on your 2017 yearly income, single or married. This premium is the amount you pay in addition to the health plan's monthly premium for prescription drug coverage. For 2019, individuals with less than an $85,000 yearly income or $170,000 yearly income for married, their Part D premium is $0. You can see by the chart that the individual Part D premium rises with the increase in yearly income. An individual with an $85,001 and $1 yearly income or married and $170,001 and $1 income, they would pay a monthly Part D premium of $12.40 in addition to the health plan's premium. Each year, Medicare will evaluate your past tax returns to determine the income to establish your Part D added premium for the current year. Increases or decreases in yearly income can result in increases or decreases in your Part D premium. Private insurance companies that offer Part D plans must follow the minimum requirements of the CMS Part D standard benefit model. The private insurance companies can provide better benefits than the standard benefit model. Medicare does not administer Part D. You must have Part A and or Part B to be eligible for Part D. You must enroll in a Part D prescription drug plan or, when you do enroll, pay a 1% penalty for each month that you do not have Part D. For 2019, the primary Part D prescription drug benefits are an annual deductible of $415, which may be waived by the insurance company. The initial coverage limit, or ICL benefit, is $3,820. Once you hit $3,820, you enter the gap, or donut hole, where you're responsible for paying a share of the cost for your drugs, 37% for generics and 25% for brand drugs. Some plans provide free generic drugs in the gap. Once you spend $5,100 out of pocket, referred to as troop, in the gap, you are entitled to catastrophic coverage where your drug costs are $3.40 for generics and $8.50 for brand drugs. Low-income Medicare beneficiaries are eligible for help with their prescription drugs through extra help or low-income subsidy, known as LIS. The program reduces out-of-pocket medication expenses and co-payments. For more information on LIS, contact Social Security. Part D utilization focuses on providing drugs in each therapeutic class called a formulary. Part D plans list their drugs, generic and brand, in their formulary. The plans place their covered drugs in tiers and assign a copayment for each tier. Formularies and their preferred pharmacies will differ from each plan.
Step therapy is a process whereby plans may require a member to first try a more cost-effective alternative drug before covering another more expensive medication for that condition. Prior authorization is where the plan requires the member or physician to get approval from the plan before the prescription can be filled. There are five Medicare enrollment periods you need to be aware of. Number one, ICEP, Initial Coverage Election Period, is your initial enrollment into Medicare, Part A and B, and begins three months before your 65th birthday, includes the month of your birthday, and extends three months after your 65th birthday. If you work and have credible health coverage and you wait to enroll in Medicare, say at age 66 or older, then when you leave your creditable coverage, you have 63 days to enroll in Medicare or pay a 10% Part B penalty. Number two, IEP, Part D Initial Election Period, is a special enrollment time to enroll in Part D if you lost creditable Part D coverage or did not enroll in Part D during your ICEP, Initial Coverage Election Period. Number three, SEP, Special Enrollment Period, is for those experiencing unique qualifying events, such as moving, and their existing Medicare health plan is not offered in their new location. Number four, annual election period is from October 15th to December 7th, whereby you can change your Medicare Advantage or your standalone prescription drug plan. Number five, new OEP, Medicare open enrollment period, is from January 1st to March 31st, whereby you can make one change to your Medicare Advantage plan. Medicare has excellent resources for more information about Medicare. You can go to the Medicare website at www.medicare.gov or call Medicare at 1-800-MEDICARE. For help with Social Security, you can go online at www.ssa.gov or call Social Security at 1-800-772-1213. TTY users should call 1-800-325-0778. For questions about Medi-Cal, their website is www.medi-cal.ca.gov or call 1-800-541-5555. This educational seminar is a production of Beta Benefits Insurance Services, Irvine, California. If you are viewing this presentation online and would like help with your Medicare, proceed on this website to the Contact Me button. Click on the button, complete the contact information form, and submit. A licensed insurance agent will contact you and help you with your questions. Thank you for your attendance at our Turning 65 Medicare Educational Seminar.